What is up guys, Incente here, and another tech skill video coming right up. So this looks like a pretty menacing uh, thing of territory, right? Turns out there's a lot of ways to create a situation in which you can make a co for life. Uh, two of those ways I'm going to show you now, uh, they were taught by a uh, Don player who was reviewing one of myself and uh, another Go player called Mikito's games. They're on his channel. I'm going to put the link in the description below if you want to check out his game reviews. He has a lot of Dom players reviewing his games. Uh, really cool tips, really cool info. So I definitely check him out. We played this game and I played Black. Uh, the one Don on KGS who had reviewed this game for us uh, pointed out an amazing sequence uh, and an amazing critical point of the shape that you can use to create Ko's or just heavily reduce the Moyo. I call it Drop the Bass. And to drop the base, all you need to do is start out by playing here. It seems so deep and it seems like this is there's no hope for the stone to live, but actually there's a lot of ways for it to try to fight for life. If you're excited to learn how to make instant life and instant base inside a heavily frameworked area by your opponent, this is the video for you. Let's learn some variations. All right, so as you saw in the intro, this all starts with this little point right here. And I'm gonna cover two things that black can do. Uh, one is cover and one is kick. We'll do the cover one first. So let's say black covers. White has this very cool uh, one space attachment, uh, prompting black to curl around white stone. It's getting white some space along the third line, and it's also making some shape for white. Now white can threaten to poke through and escape to freedom, which black can't allow. Black has to play here. Now white has this really awesome Hane. This Hane is threatening to make a double Atari on this shape, as well as uh, play here and make a lot of eye space for his stones. If black tries to stop this plan, white can create a co. So now if white has more co-threats than black, uh, white will be able to win this co. Let's say white does something black responds to, and let's say black does something white doesn't need to respond to. White has double panookis, and there's no way this thing is gonna die, because black still needs to cover this area, and there's this is just unconditionally alive for white. So really cool Ko that can totally rip away everything your opponent was trying to do. And if you've got a nice attack going on some other group, or you can create an attack before you activate this sequence, uh, you'll be able to either kill something really big because he'll kill this group, but you'll still be able to get the thing you were attacking, or you'll be able to rip away at least 20 points uh, from your opponent's framework. Really, really cool idea. Now I'm going to show you what would happen if black tries to kick. This is a lot more simple. Black tries to kick, white can just leave. White can treat this stone lightly. Totally, totally lightly. Or maybe even play here. Right? Forcing black to take. White can threaten to even cut here. If black feel, if he is inclined. Black would probably like to threaten. White can play something along these lines and just, just leave. Just peace, be like, this was fun. I'm gonna leave now. And Black's entire thing was completely cut in half. And the key was that this low stone was able to undercut this high stone of Black's. And if Black can't kill this by covering successfully, uh, White can leave. And if Black does try to cover, like we said, we've got this beautiful attachment. When you're in trouble, try to attach and try to make shape. And we have the curl. These are all very natural moves. And we have the Hana here, which almost forces Black to do this. And now we can start that co. Just some extra variations. Let's say Black does decide to defend here. If White wanted to, White could even let these stones go.
and just connect and just connect under still a huge reduction unbelievably huge reduction and white is completely connected uh, there's not really any way for black to really get these out so this is a very very flexible flexible shape white can even try to just hunker down and make life here but if you do want to try to make life here you have to be wary that there's this critical point uh, that black has where black can make this false and now white will need to win this co and make two eyes down here. And if white were to try to do that, white would need to play here first. Something like this. Black would do something like this. White would play here. And the only way for black to keep this all together is to take that co. And so now, once again, it comes down to a co, but white's a lot more invested in this co than the last co because there's a lot more stones involved. So this Hane is very, very cool. Um, and the attachment was very, very cool. And this is a sequence that I would never have thought of unless a Don player told it to me. So I wanted to give this to you guys. Um, hopefully this will help out your games. So if you've got a lot of co-threats, if you're attacking something, if you can make a co-threat and then you can activate this sequence at the perfect time, might be the difference between a victory and a defeat. That's all for tech skill number two. Good luck in your games. Hope to see you on the grid.